Hey guys, for today's video, I'll be doing an unboxing of Red Velvet's 2020 season's greetings. I know this is coming out a little bit late considering I'm filming this in February, but I did want to get my hiatus haul out there first, so that's why I held out on this unboxing. But now with the haul uploaded, I can finally focus on this unboxing. So without further ado, let's get it open. Alright, so without the plastic, you can really see the colors now. It is the same style of box and texture as 2019 Seasons Greetings. I believe the stuff inside are pretty close to last year's one too. I will link last year's Seasons Greetings right here for you guys that are interested. But let's focus on the 2021 now. Love the concept. I actually like it more than last year's one. I love the whole sophisticated look going on. And everyone has a bit of a fall vibe because no one's hair is like too out there, even with Eerie's blonde. It's more of a subtle blonde. And the back, let's see, this way. And the back with pretty much the copyright stuff and Red Velvet's name. The side is just one color, so there's not much to show there. And the way I plan to go about this unboxing is to just show you things from the top to bottom, and then we'll work our way down to the bottom of the box. So let's open this shimmy it out okay so this is oh wow i did not expect there to be a color this is a very pleasant surprise it's a nice pink too it's actually more bright in person so let's move that and then let's start off with the top layer so this is the sleeve cardboard okay so the whole theme is pink i didn't expect that <laughs> So the inner layer of this box is pink and most of the goodies are pink. So actually we'll do this last because it's kind of small. But let's do this first. This is, I think this is like a small version of a calendar. Oh, I remember this now. So this is the standee. So this is a standee calendar. What you're supposed to do is to fold this in half to make it upright and to be able to stand on its own. And then you place the card right there. I'm not gonna fold it, but that's pretty much what it is. So we are starting off with, I think this is January with a group photo. Yeah. February with Irene. Let's see, do they have birthdays? Yep. So we have Sogi's birthday and Wendy's birthday circled. Sogi. And here we have Yeri's birthday and Irene's birthday. Wendy. I don't think there's any special events, but I'll just turn it just for the sake. Joy. For me. Yuri, so cute. June. Back with Irene. So cute. So here we have the debut date in August. And then we should have Joy's birthday on the 3rd. They never have the members' birthdays <laughs> matching the photo that the month is supposed to represent. It's always been like that. Yuri. And last but not least, with our December photo. So these were the calendar standee placards little thing. Very cute. I don't know how practical this is though, because when you have it on the standee itself, you either have the members looking at you or you have the calendar. You can't really have both because then you have to flip it around. So I don't know how you're supposed to use this properly. I guess you're supposed to choose. But yes, this was the standee calendar. Next up, we have the DVD. I think what the DVD is, is like behind the scenes of the photo shoot. I cannot understand why else you would have a DVD. I really love this pink. It's not even Red Velvet's pink. It's just a beautiful pink. So pretty much the cover. And I don't think there's anything else. Is there? No, there's nothing else. So that was the DVD. We'll just do the index cards now. I think it might be pretty brief. So, 
So they give you a little ring to keep it together. I think I'm gonna do that now. Actually, can I? Actually, no, I think I might ruin it because doing it on camera makes me nervous. So let's see what these things are. This is really thick cover. Irene, is there anything on the back? Okay, no. Sugi, Wendy, these are so beautiful. Joy, Yeri, and then we're back again. I don't think they're all just gonna be photos. I think it's just probably the first few. Wait. Oh, it's out of order. I was wondering, did I get Sogi and Wendy stuck behind Irene? Oh, this is nice. Change of outfit. No more blazer. Cute little hat. I cannot recall on the spot when these photos were taken. Yeri Beam Blonde. I think is that Zim Sala Beam? Maybe. Maybe right before or in between. These are nice. This is a beautiful photo. My gosh. Miss Sue Young. This is so pretty. I do wish this wasn't an index card. I miss SM putting photo cards in these season's greetings. We haven't had that in the last two years. Okay, so now they're blank. These are a lot thinner now. So maybe it's for you to write memos or something. Since they're all pretty much the same, I'm gonna move that chunk back. And this chunk back, shouldn't be anything. It's the same thinness as the rest. Okay, I think that's that's pretty much it. So I think these are for you to write little memos. And the top half was Red Velvet's photos. Well, the top third. But these were the index cards. We're now into the part of the season's greetings I'm probably most interested in. And it is the desk calendar. So it's just the very standard desk calendar. You open it and you just place it on your table. They always look beautiful. And it's a standard with all their season's greetings. Let's see. Okay, so I have it opened right now. Red velvet. The title. Okay, so I don't know if we've seen this photo before. It's the same outfit as the usual photos, but then this does look a little new to me. Everyone here looks so beautiful, but Irene stands out a lot with that pose and just the beautiful suit. Kind of looks a little silky. I don't know if all the photos are on the back. Okay, so hold on. Let's just look at the members writing on the birthday. So that's Sogi's birthday and this is Wendy's birthday. And I think they wrote it themselves. But regardless, we will just focus on the member photos. So the usual age order. Wait. Let's show you guys Yuri's birthday and Irene's birthday. I love that they wrote it themselves. And there's not a lot of big dates coming up until August, I believe. So I won't show you guys the rest of the actual calendar. We'll just look at our beautiful girls. Suyoung. So Suyoung for May. Yuri for June. We're back to the start. This is such a nice suit. I don't know if they're all the same thing, but different colors. So we are now on August. Okay. So it's here we have the anniversary date. It's their six year anniversary. I can't tell whose handwriting this is, but it's cute. I'm just going to assume it's Sogi. <laughs> it's very cute. And let's see. It really stumps me when the member's a little bit out of order because then I think I turn too many pages at once. We have Suyoung's birthday. Gorgeous Wendy. Makne. And this is December. And to end it off, we have the credits. <laughs> I like that they do give credit. 
A lot of people worked hard to make them look beautiful. Okay, so let's flip to the, I don't know how I close this. Okay, so this was the desk calendar. Beautiful desk calendar. This is actually another thing I was excited for. I completely forgot about it because this is kind of new. They didn't really have this last year. So this is the brochure. It's pretty much a mini photo book. I think there's like 12 pages in here. I thought it'd be a lot cheaper. The front, the back. The people who worked on the styling for this season's greetings really outdid themselves. They look beautiful, very mature, very fitting for their upcoming sixth anniversary because now they're all mature. These pages are glossy too. They're very thick. So this is Irene's page with her message for the year. Oh, she wrote, this is a Chinese character. I don't know, is it intentional or not or is that like a meaning in korean too so yi's message with her little beer wendy's message happy new year very surprised she didn't read a lot normally she writes a lot see young with a little message yeri and that was short. <laughs> I thought when they said it was like a short brochure, it wouldn't be this short, but it's such a quality brochure. Best thing in here, really. Now we're on to, I think the second to last item in here, and it is the diary. Pretty standard with all their season's greetings. Oh, and you can see the members' names are here, but I'll show you a clear visual when I get it out. I'm still very surprised they chose this shade of pink. This is more like a girls' generation pink. So the front, the side, and the back with the members' names in age order. Okay, so let's start this. If I remember correctly, this is usually half photos and half just standard calendar and like a diary type of thing, like where you write your notes. So I don't know how many photos there will be exactly. I don't want to flip through this whole thing for you because it's pretty big. Let's try to do this a little quickly. Everyone's so beautiful. Let me just try to do this one hand. Okay, so the calendar where you can write in. Oh, here's like a notes thing. You have more space. Okay, let me try to flip more. We're on February with Sogi and Wendy's birthdays. Pretty much the same thing they wrote earlier. Let's see. I'm trying to see where the next photos are so we're not flipping through everything. Okay, I'm glad I checked because all that, no photos. Let's see. Their photos at the end or this is pretty much it um here we have a checklist so we didn't really see that earlier oh we're on to the photos now irene looks so good in hats i've never really heard anyone say that but she really does especially berets but that wasn't a beret arms wendy's arms so pretty so good she looks so beautiful see ya <laughs> this is like an early 2000s type of hat and the end I skipped a lot of the pages but it's generally just areas where you can write little memos and that was the diary and last but definitely not least oh not even last I was completely wrong <laughs> I forgot that there were those A4 photos but this is the stickers I don't know if it is one giant sheet or they're individuals. I think this is the stickers. Bucket list. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are stickers. The back. So I think it's two sheets of stickers. I'm not going to take this out because I believe it's the same thing. Front and back. Well, close enough to the same thing. It's beautiful. 
this is something that I won't use, but I will admire it. And we're now officially at the last item. Let's see. Really thick and heavy. these thick glossy photos these are actually very thick these are placards pretty much pretty HD too oh my bad knocked it over I'm hoping they're all from the same direction I would hate to keep angling this so the usual Irene so yeah I'm pretty sure these are repeated photos wait let me look at the back it almost feels like a cardboard Oh my gosh, Joy's skin, so smooth. Year of Blonde, always one of her best colors. Yeah, these are pretty much repeated photos. I miss Wendy. Wishing her a speedy recovery. Group photo, so cute. I love group photos. Yuri's very independent in this photo. And I think we're at the front. If I read into the back, yeah, this is the front. I should just notice the names are right there. Okay, so these are the A4 photos. I don't really know what use to have for these A4 photos, but regardless, they're very nice quality and they're beautiful. So it's a nice touch. For those of you that really like using all the contents of the season's greetings, I do recommend you guys keep the box because it's really nice and you guys could use it to hold other red velvet items or just use it to hold other stuff. This was Red Velvet's 2020 season's greetings and in sight, there were the A4 photos, sticker sheet, or what I assume is a sticker sheet, diary, brochure, a lovely desk calendar, index cards, reminds me of school, DVD, and the standy calendar. Probably one of the more useful items in here. The cover sheet. Nice cardboard cover. And the cover box. This marks the end of the video. I hope you guys had a great time and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.